Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this tutorial we're going to go over the record history button in Rhino 4. So uh, we're just going to loft these these uh, polygons and then we want to live update that after the command has already been set. So we'll just uh, make sure that the record history button is selected. It's by default it's not it's not selected but we'll uh, click on it down there and then select the objects that we want to loft and then do the loft command and we'll say that this is good okay and it's been lofted so the record history button now shuts off after the after you set that command uh, you can right click it and um, you know set it so where it always records history but we'll just leave it be right now the uh, the best part about the why well, you'd want to use the history is that now that we can update this curve and then the loft updates too so whatever command that you uh, executed under the the his while history was enabled it will go back and uh, update that uh, it's called an implicit history this would be like uh, in grasshopper if you could edit something in grasshopper uh, Grasshopper used to be called explicit history because you could see what what was going on and edit that. Uh, the record history button within Rhino itself is more of an implicit history because you can't see it, but you can still go back and you know select these control points and uh, update those. But if you drag your object, you can see that we get this warning that says dragging object or dragging bo broke history of object one object. Uh, to restore the history, undo your changes and run the undo command. Okay, so we'll just control Z and you can see that if you go b kind of beyond your means uh, it, it will break the history for that object but if you stick to kind of control points or uh, moving moving the these objects you can keep your keep your lofted uh, object or whatever command you're running and use that history throughout your modeling process.